hi guys and welcome to a new video if you are new here my name is celeste and i'm a high school counselor today i am doing a full day in the life as a school counselor um my goal for the next few videos is to start incorporating things that counselors actually do um so my goal for this specific video is to include um how i prep for 504 meetings and parent teacher conferences so hopefully i'm able to um implement some of that information inside of this video because i do want to make it more um of an opportunity for you to learn especially for those of you who are pursuing school counseling um so yeah so that's my goal for this video hopefully it goes as planned trying to do a full day i do have a lot to do today and so it's going to be a busy day but hopefully i can get everything in and um include some great information inside of the video so let's get started all right so this is an after effect of me just finishing up working with a student who had a mental health crisis um those are always challenging for me because i'm human i care about my students and i don't want to see them go through those things and so realistically my my job isn't always roses and happy endings and rainbows and it's hard especially during those moments when you see your students struggling mentally and so i am now trying to move to my next task and basically whenever a student comes in with an emergency like that everything else get pushed to the side those other things everything else is pushed to the side and so yes it does throw off your day but your students are important and their needs are important and those things should be met and so everything else can wait and that's what i had to learn to to balance and also like after working with those students and their um, mental health crisis I've learned to give myself grace afterwards and sometimes I do close my door and just allow myself to debrief and um, self-reflect and, and just work through my thoughts because it is it is definitely challenging especially when you care and you love your students and so um, yeah so now I'm trying to move forward I just right before the mental um, working with the students with the mental health crisis I had a, um, another student that I was working with and working with um, coming up with a plan to um, successfully complete um, junior year and just getting caught up on some classes. And so I'm going to finish looking over that student's transcript and yeah, um, and try to finish working through my thoughts. And I do have a long to do list. And so I'm going to try to dive back in and get myself back together. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in. Um, hopefully, I can continue to vlog throughout today. All right, guys, let's get into it. Well, this week, we have been spending a lot of time looking at rosters for next year and balancing out schedules. So right now, I'm looking at a particular roster going through each one or each student to make sure that the classes that they're in are balancing out. And so this takes quite a bit of time. And so that's what I'm finishing up. Um, this week, I have brought some work home um, some days just so that I can finish up and focus. I do get busy during the day. Um, students come in with different things and so most of the times those things have to be pushed off all right so i just finished lunch and now i am about to get started on my next task um i actually have to call up a few students and um close out a few things and go through like weekly check-ins with them um some of them are the check-ins only take like a brief minute because it's like, hey, checking in on your progress in your um, virtual or recovery class. And then it's like a two-minute check-in. And then some of them can take a little bit longer because sometimes I have to call the parents as well. 
So I'm actually about to get started on that and I'm standing up because after lunch, I feel like I need to like get moving. And so um, I do have like a stand up desk. Um, well, yeah, I guess you can call it a stand up desk, but the ones that rise. And so I use it after lunch just so I can stand up and move around a little bit because sitting down doing your work, like it can get, you know, it can get a little intense, but um, being able to stand up does help. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to call up a few students um, and then continue checking off some things. Um, lunch, or for lunch, I had leftovers and last night I made taco pasta. Um, I used to make it all the time in college, but it was really good. So I just bought that for lunch and yeah. So let's continue having a good day. Hi guys. So I just got into work. It is a new day. I have been trying to finish this vlog for the last like two days. Um, and I just have not been able to because I've just been crazy busy whenever I get here. Um, right now I'm about to get ready to do my basic um, morning scheduled routine. I do go and observe students um, on their research projects. So I am just the person who is going to ask the questions at the end of the presentation. So this is, um, or this starts at like nine this morning. So I'm going to try to make sure I finish everything that I can finish this morning before I go upstairs and watch the research projects. It's always fun to watch and it's for students who are in the research class and they are juniors. Normally they are probably in the top percent of their um class so watching them is just so intriguing so i'm gonna go do that this morning i want to finish this vlog today that is the goal um we will finish this vlog today um so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching so far um and yeah just continue to watch all right guys so it's a little bit later in the day it's actually after my work hours or after my work time um, I decided to stay a little bit later just to get some stuff done um, I had to leave just for a little or for a few minutes because Preston got sick and so um, but he's okay I was able to get off and get him situated get him some medicine in him and my mom was able to get off from work and um, take over and so I was able to come back to school and so I um, came back and I had a meeting with um, my principals and we went over some things for scheduling. And so I pretty much have been working on scheduling stuff since the meeting. And so um, that's why I say a little bit afterwards, just to make sure um, I had everything, you know, together. And I also have been working on um, making sure that students have everything they need for next year and checking students who are off track or need recovery classes for next year. So I've been looking over that. And so that has been taking up majority of my afternoon, but I do want to go ahead and implement what I was going to do um, the other day inside of the video, which was to tell you guys how I prepare for my parent teacher conferences in 504 meetings. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the first step in preparing for any meeting that I have is I contact the parents, whether that's a meeting invitation for a 504 meeting or a phone call for a regular parent-teacher conference. Contact the parents and make sure that they have the date and time and make sure that the date and time works for their schedule. So I set that up and once I get that confirmation, that's when I create my invitation on Google Calendar um, and create my time and it organizes it into my calendar. Um, and then after making that parent contact, um, I of course reach out to the teachers, make sure and confirm it's good for their schedule as well. Okay. So parent contact is the first step in setting up a parent conference and a 504 meeting. All right, the next step is before the meeting, a few days before the meeting, I like to go ahead and make sure I have all the documents that I need 
for the meeting. If it, if it is a 504 meeting, I wanna make sure that I have the accommodation plan ready to go um, with their accommodations listed. If it is a parent-teacher conference, I wanna make sure I have their attendance with me, their grades, um, and just uh, I try to have it all in one folder or one file. Um, I personally use Google Classroom, or not Google Classroom, I use Google um, Drive to organize my folders. Um, and so that's what I do, parent-teacher conferences and 504 meetings, make sure I have all my documents together and ready to go for the meeting so that when I am in the meeting, um, I am prepared. And for 504 meetings and parent-teacher conferences, um, counselors here at my school, we host those meetings. So it is valuable that we have all of our documents together. The next step is making sure that we have our um, 504 parent rights. And so for a regular parent-teacher conference, I don't have to do that, of course, but for a 504 meeting, I have to make sure that the parents have their rights. Um, so inside of the meeting, um, we have been meeting virtually. Um, so I'll email them over an electronic copy of their rights, or if they come in for an in-person meeting, I will go ahead and give them their rights then during the meeting. So having the rights is very important because the parents need to understand their rights to their 504 um, accommodations. So right before the meeting, um, probably the day before, um, I go ahead and send out an email reminder to the parents to make sure that they remember that the meeting is tomorrow. Um, sometimes I'll call, sometimes I'll email, um, just so that they will know that the meeting is set up. And um, so, you know, sometimes we need reminders, like we get busy and we forget things. So I email them a reminder just to make sure that they are there and present. And the day of the meeting, everything is already prepped and set. So all I do is log into the virtual meeting or if it's in person, I go ahead and make sure that the room is unlocked or the classroom door is unlocked and set up. Um, my office is pretty small, so I don't meet in my office, um, but I go ahead and make sure that, you know, everything is set up, there's enough chairs and all of that. Um, so that's the day of the meeting, um, but that's pretty much it. I go through that for um, my parent teacher conferences and 504 meetings. So when I say I have a 504 or parent teacher conference, those are the things that I am doing to prep and prepare and get ready um, for the meeting. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, and that will conclude the vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. It is past my time to go. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching the video. My hair is like clipped up and that's why it looks a hot mess. Today was just, this week was just one of those busy, busy weeks. Um, so I am excited because tomorrow is the last day before spring break. Ooh, I need the break. I think we all need the break. So um, yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.